Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I just thought I would mention that two houses away from me are having their driveway done, which it's fine, but it's not ideal in terms of filming because there's a lot of drilling, a lot of banging, but um, I'm losing daylight every minute that goes by, so I kind of feel like I have to get this filmed. I'm really sorry if the tapping and the drilling, which is intermittent, bothers you, but I just, I, I really do need to get this filmed. And, and I'm gonna be doing a collective haul. I haven't actually done a fashion haul for a while, I don't think. Um, and that's purely because I've been losing a lot of weight recently, so I haven't wanted to buy too much because my sizing recently has just been, like, it's just been crazy and I haven't wanted to invest too much in pieces that I'm just going to end up having to sell or charity and that kind of thing. So, I feel like right now I'm at a size where I'm not going to get too much smaller regardless. I'm a comfortable size 10 and I feel like I'm not bothered about losing any more weight. So, I feel like these pieces are going to be fine. Even if I put a little bit of weight on, I'll lose a little bit more. So I've been investing in some beautiful pieces and I also have some blogger mail that's been sent to me that I'm so excited to share with you. This isn't going to be a try on haul just because again the lighting is crap today but I have styled a lot of this on my Instagram so I will be able to provide photos in the corners and that kind of thing just showing you guys how I would style them and what I've been wearing them with and just how they look on so I hope that helps. I'm going to start with one of my favourite pieces that I picked up and it is this beautiful 100% cashmere jumper from ASOS. Now, I tend to treat myself to a cashmere jumper at least once a year and I built up quite the collection now but sadly a lot of them are like in a size 12, 14 and they're miles too big so what I did was I sold a lot of those jumpers which enabled me to splurge out and get this one which I have had my eye on for a while. It's this gorgeous bluey grey colour, it's so soft and snuggly, it has this beautiful crew neckline. I will show you this up close, I have styled this on my Instagram so I will be able to show you guys a picture but it is gorgeous, I love it and again it feels beautiful and I'm just in love with this and I love the colour, I love the cut, it's quite, it's not cropped but it's not a long jumper so it just sits really nicely, so yeah, I love that and again that is from ASOS, I think it's called the white label or something, it's a slightly pricier side of ASOS but again I'll try and link everything where I can down below. The next thing I have is equally as pretty but it's a lot more affordable and I have worn this and I had a lot of questions when I have worn it and it's this gorgeous oatmeal knit cardigan from... Miss Selfridge. I don't normally shop at Miss Selfridge but there was just something about this knit that caught my eye and I really liked it. It's just a classic oatmeal colour with the big tortoiseshell buttons and it has a really nice sort of v-neck but a long v and it's just really flattering. I really like it. This was about £35, really affordable, nice chunky sleeve. I like the fact that it's kind of a cross between a regular jumper and an Aran knit as well and I really like this. I got it in the size 10 as I did with the ASOS jumper and it just, they fit perfectly and this is really interesting to style. I've styled it with like baggy-ish jeans, I've styled it with tight jeans, it just looks great with everything. I've worn it with a satin black skirt with military boots and it looked fabulous so this is one of those pieces that you can just chuck on and it just looks great and it's nice and cozy nice and snuggly so I really have been enjoying wearing that so stupidly I did actually end up venturing out into the Black Friday sales normally I would avoid it like a plague and just shop online but I needed some stuff for the kids and I thought you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna take a trip out and I was so happy that I did because H&M did this amazing day where the discounts were insane and I found a few things that I really did like the first one is this gorgeous jumper which is with this beautiful red wine kind of colour and it almost has this ribbed effect running through it. I really liked it, I didn't have anything like it in my collection. I love the colour, it's beautiful and rich, that gorgeous burgundy oxblood shade. I got it in the size small um, and it fits perfectly and again it's something that I have styled on my Instagram, I really like it. I wear it a ton actually, it's just a really easy jumper to throw on over a band tee, some boyfriend jeans, some boots, go out the door and you're kind of semi put together. And it's just super soft and again the richness of this colour was what really attracted me to it. Um, so I've been really enjoying styling that. And I also bought this jumper at the same time, although I haven't worn this yet, it's still got the tags on it. But this was so affordable and then I got the 20% off as well. And it's this beautiful cream jumper. But this might look like really underwhelming and really simple, but I loved the neckline on this jumper. It looked beautiful. It's like a boat neck and it's kind of like a cross between a boat neck and a sweetheart because it kind of comes up, but it's so flattering and off the shoulder and it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I actually put this on my Instagram stories because I was opening your iron about it and you guys were like, no, get it. And what I also love about it is the, the cream isn't a pure cream. It has like these speckles of beige running through it. 
and it's gorgeous. I really like it. Again, $14.99, a really easy thing to chuck on. It looks very White Company-esque as well, which I really do like um, because it didn't come with the White Company price tag, so I adore that and um, I'm sure I'll be wearing that very, very soon for sure. The next thing I picked up was from ASOS, but it's actually um, by Ralph Lauren and I love this so much and it's this beautiful chunky jumper with the iconic um, flag on the top um, but I just loved it I love it's just such a classic jumper it's a classic style it's really warm and chunky and I love the fact that the stars on the flag are embroidered it just sold me on it and I really like it it fits beautifully it's warm and snuggly it's an amazing quality jumper very pricey 120 but I feel like that's because it's Ralph Lauren um, and I adore it. I got it in the size 10, fits like a glove, really like it. I did actually buy it in the size 12. Um, I tried it on and it was fine, it was just a little bit too baggy, so I noticed the next day that they stocked it in the size 10. I reordered it and sent the original back and I'm really happy with it, it fits so much nicer. The next thing I got from ASOS was some new pyjamas and I love loungewear, like I spend a lot of time at home so I do like to have nice pyjamas, in fact I wore these, <laughs> so they're inside out. And it's this beautiful set from Calvin Klein and they're just very simple. It's just basically a long sleeve t-shirt with Calvin Klein written across it in grey, really comfortable. And then you can buy the pants separately, which is what I did. They didn't come in a set, they come separate, but on the model they were styled together, which is why I bought both, which I guess is kind of why they do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's just these basic Calvin Klein waistbanded pyjamas with the buttons going down. These are kind of like, I would say they're a cross between like a cement grey and they have like a greeny undertone to them. I really liked them. Again, I just wanted some nice loungewear to wear and I just, I really enjoyed them but they were quite pricey. I think they were £40 each, so £80 which sounds crazy when you think about it but I had a voucher and I had a discount code so yeah, I love those. Before we move off from ASOS, I thought I would show you this coat which I am absolutely in love with and it's by Bershka. You will have seen this all over my Instagram because I've just been wearing it non-stop and it's this beautiful burnt orange tailored coat and I just adore it. The thing that attracted me to it was the colour. How fabulous is that orange? I love it and on my skin tone it works perfectly and it's so Christmassy as well. It kind of reminds me of a cloved Christmas orange kind of colour. I really like it, it's really fitted but quite relaxed and casual at the same time. I have been looking for a coat that kind of can look quite smart but quite casual and it's quite hard to marry those two together. I did see the most amazing coat from Ralph Lauren uh, when I was shopping at Cheshire Oaks and I fell in love with it and I didn't buy it and I'm having a major, major regret for not buying that coat. But I am going to go back in the January sales and fingers crossed it's either still there or it's even been discounted. But I love this. Again, I got it in the size 10. This is really affordable, uh, especially compared to the Ralph Lauren coat. This is 50 quid, but it looks so expensive, so stylish, and I've just been really enjoying wearing it, especially over on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to move on to the next coat that I bought, which, again, you will have seen. Um, and this is just from Topshop. And I wanted something that was a bit more kind of had function to it. It's waterproof, it's warm, ideal for the school run. And I just got this Parker from Topshop. Um, it's got this cream hood, it's nice and padded. It's a short parka, which normally I go for the longer parkas, but I kind of fancied a change, and this is more of a jacket parka, but it's super warm, it's all lined on the inside, and I just, I really do like it. It's super warm and snuggly, and I've just been wearing it a ton. In fact, I wear it every single day. Every single school run, I wear this, and I wear it on days when I'm wearing like more of a relaxed outfit, and it looks really nice. I got it in the size 10. Again, it fits perfectly. Um, and I really like it. I'm getting quite the mountain of clothes next to me, so eventually I think they'll all start to kind of fold over and I'll just be buried in clothes. But um, yeah, the next things I'm going to move on to are the Cheshire Oak finds. So, as I mentioned, I went to the Cheshire Oak outlet, which is an amazing outlet. I always enjoy going. I go like two or three times a year with my friend, um, and we just go and hang out, and it's really fun. Um, yeah, so Mark, if you're watching, hey. Um, yeah, and we went to French Connection and I really loved this jumper that I picked up and I've actually seen this on ASOS and I had it in my basket at full price at like 75 quid and I was umming and ahhing about it and I just thought, oh, I've got so many cream jumpers, I'm not going to go for it. Saw it in the outlet for £34 and thought, you are coming home with me. And it's this beautiful, again, oatmeal knit. I know that these jumpers are, might look quite similar, but I'm a creature of habit and I do feel like everyone is slightly different. What I loved about this one is the neckline. It kind of has this really interesting square neck to it. It's really 
bizarre, but then you have the balloon sleeve and it is quite tight and fitted in the top. So I really liked it. Um, and when I tried it on on Instagram stories, you guys were like, yeah, it's really nice, you should get it. So I'm really happy that I picked up that up. It's nice and chunky. And I feel like this is the kind of jumper, very much like the cardigan, that you could wear with skirts, you could wear it with skinnies, you could wear it with like boyfriend jeans, mom jeans. It's just going to suit a variety of different styles. So I do like that. And if you are looking for an ASOS, if you can go to Cheshire Oaks, they had quite a few of these in. Um, so maybe perhaps go and check that out before you splurge. But yeah, that is from... French Connection at the outlet. So I'm gonna move on now to Ralph Lauren and the bag from Ralph Lauren is not as big as I would like. I would have preferred to have been bringing home the coat. And like I said, I was this close to getting it and I kind of regret not doing really. Don't actually know why I didn't get it. I think it was just because it was, I'll put a picture of it here. It was stunning. It was very Jackie Kennedy and it was this beautiful red coat. But I just bought that one from Berkshire and I was kind of thinking to myself like seriously, two coats in a week. And then I bought the Topshop one a few weeks back, like it's just, it's too much, you don't need it. So I didn't end up getting it. But if I do find it in the sale, it's coming home with me for sure. I did however need a new hat. Layla, is, she started taking my hats to school because she prefers my hat. And then they just don't come home with her. So I'm not going to let her take this one because this one was quite pricey. I get it from Ralph Lauren and what I loved about it is it has the little teddy on the front. It's so cute, it's so, so cute. And I got it monogrammed for free. I'm all about monogramming. I got my Burberry scarf monogrammed. I've had like a Louis Vuitton wallet monogrammed. I like my monogramming, so yeah, I loved this hat. And I will show it you just so you guys can see kind of what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's just a nice little hat. Um, I needed a new hat, as I said, Layla's kind of engulfing all of mine, so I did want a new one. And this one is slightly more special with it having the classic teddy bear on it and it also being monogrammed, so I do like that. Although my friend Mark did say it was more of a boyish hat, but I feel like I don't really care about stuff like that. If it's a men's hat, I'll still wear it if I like it, so yeah. Now I'm going to move on to uh, Rituals. So I love going into the Ritual store at Cheshire Oaks because the price is amazing, but also the staff are so, so nice. They really do take the time to wrap your products and talk you through everything and give you little samplers and let you try stuff. And I just, I've got a lot of time for Rituals as a brand. I really do like it. And I treated myself to a new shower oil, which did come beautifully packaged, but somehow on the drive home, it's gone a bit wrong. <laughs> But I did get, as I said, a shower oil, and this one is the Ritual of Happy Buddha, Smile and the World Smiles Back, and this is the Fortune Shower Oil, and I thought, what a wonderful way to bring in the new year than to use a shower oil that's meant to bring prosperity, fortune, wealth, happiness, um, I just thought, I mean, even if it doesn't, I just, I love the scent of the Happy Buddha, but I thought, what a nice concept. I just what a lovely way to start the year with my look and smiles and love, and this has sweet orange and cedar wood, and it smells incredible. I'm actually currently using the Happy Buddha body lotion, and I love it, to Hotel Chocolat. I know I've mentioned these a lot recently, but I'm just a sucker for their chocolate, guys, and I don't even eat chocolate that often, but what I do, I'm treating myself to the best, and I got some of their three for 20 products, so, the first thing I got is this beautiful festive wreath, and this is for Andrew's stocking, and it's just gorgeous. It's basically this 3D chunky wreath of chocolate with nuts in there and praline and just loads of goodness that I thought was really sweet. This was eight pound, but again, they were all eight pound, but I got them on the three for 20. And I also got these alternative mince pies, which, I mean, I love original mince pies. I could eat them for days, so ones that are chocolate, I mean, no brainer for me. And I also got a pack of my favorites that Andrew currently has in his stocking and it is the alternative Christmas puddings. Again, Christmas puddings is something that I love and I've only recently discovered and now I'm obsessed with it. I've been having like a little bit every night with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and I've literally been living my best life. So I was happy to get those, um, a little twist on the originals. And before we move on to some like really exciting blogger mail, I thought I would show you a couple of things that I picked up from the White Company online. So we didn't get these from Cheshire Oaks. I actually don't think they have a White Company at Cheshire Oaks. They need one if they don't have one. The first thing I got, um, and this is for Andrew's birthday wrap by the way, is this beautiful black velvet ribbon. Um, this is basically just a black velvet ribbon that I'm going to use to wrap his gifts and I thought it was gorgeous. And the reason that I got it was it goes so well with this beautiful wrapping paper that I bought, which is the advent wrapping paper. This was out of stock last time I looked, um, I'll try and link it down below. But it's just basically a white wrapping paper with the numbers on it. And I just thought together they would look so stylish for wrapping his birthday gift. Love 
I love the art of gift wrapping. Like I love making my presents and my gifts look pretty. So I don't mind spending that little bit more. And I loved those. Although I don't normally spend that much on wrapping paper, I have to say. But um, I do like that a lot. It's very, very pretty. And then the last few bits I have are blogger mail. And I'm so excited to show you this next thing because I've actually had this for around a month now or maybe three weeks. And I've just I've been using it every day or every time I wash my hair and it is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. I have to say, I mean I get a lot of lovely things sent to me, I am very very lucky indeed but I feel like this is one of the best things I've ever had sent. It's fabulous, it's so so good. I have a feeling this will feature in my December favourites just because I've been using it every time I wash my hair and there are loads of features about it that I'd love to share with you guys but I adore it. I got it sent from Fashion World, feeling super, super lucky to have this and I really, really like it. I know it's expensive, I know it's a splurge, but if you are contemplating it and you have got them cash to spare, I don't think you'd regret buying it because it is amazing. Although I appreciate it's very, very, very expensive indeed at 329 but yeah, I had to mention it because it's just so stunning. Then I got sent a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, case from Radley. And um, this was sent over again from the guys at Fashion World. I don't have this currently on my person, but I will include overlays now just so you guys can see just how gorgeous it is. It is this beautiful stone coloured cabin case um, on wheels that has this beautiful floral design throughout. You have the Radley, and it has this gorgeous um, lock zip combination section that just looks really stylish. I've never had a high-end case before, so I'm really excited. I have a Hendu coming up at the beginning of next year, and that is gonna just be so perfect for me, and I really love it. And I think that was about 135, again, sent over from Fashion World. Thank you so much, guys. I will definitely be using that in the next few months for sure, and I adore it, so that is from Radley. Then I got some beautiful things sent over from Christina and these are some gorgeous items by Jolique and you will know if you've been a follower of my channel that I really do like Jolique products. This one is new to me and I've been looking for a new um, spray and this is the Sweet Peony and Tangerine Hydrating Mist. Again, packaging is gorgeous. I also have the Hydrating Rose Duo Gift Set which comes with a hand cream and a rose love balm as well which I'm very excited about and the packaging on these products is gorgeous. And then last but not least, I also have the Iconic set, which comes with some of their best-selling serums, creams, and moisturizers. Again, I will link everything down below. This packaging is just stunning. So if you are looking for Christmas gifts, Jolique is definitely a brand that I feel like you should look into more because their products are fabulous. That's everything. I know I say that's everything. That's quite a lot of stuff for you guys to see, but I haven't done a haul in a while, and I feel like I've been collecting this stuff for a few weeks, so I said that I would share it with you all. Don't forget to comment down below what you think of the pieces. If you tried any of the products, I'd love to hear from you. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe if you're new to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.